I'm Ashley with Girls Who Code, back with step one of part five in the Wizard's Wish game tutorial. In the last part of our activity, we'll be creating an end for our game, and it's the perfect time to practice a new programming skill. In this step, we'll explore conditional statements in programming. We're not going to add any code in this step, so you can sit back and relax as we learn about conditionals. Our game is almost complete. Now, we just have to end our game. To accomplish this task, we will need a conditional statement. Sometimes you might hear this called an if or an if-then statement. A conditional is used to determine whether a certain condition is met before the code within the conditional is executed. Let's look at an example related to our game. If the score of the game is equal to 10, then the code beneath the if statement will run. If the score is not equal to 10, then the code will move past the conditional and start running the code after the statement. In this example, if the score is equal to 10, the sprite would say, great work, you win. This could also be accomplished in an if then else statement. If the score is equal to 10, then the sprite will say, great work, you win. Else, if the score is not equal to 10, the sprite will say, keep trying. Programmers use conditionals to make decisions in their programs. They allow you to control how the code is executed. Using this same if then else conditional statement, if the score in our game was equal to seven, what would the program perform? Did you take some time to think about this? The sprite would say, keep trying. Our current score is equal to seven, not 10. This means the condition in our if is false at this point in our program. As a result, we don't run the first code block inside the if statement. Instead, we pass it and run the second block of code under the keyword else. That's it for step one. In the next step, we'll learn how to end our game using a conditional statement. 